The hurricane that devastated coastal areas of New York and New Jersey also had an impact on some Canadians who want to lend a helping hand. From one woman's makeshift marathon to a Calgary dance troupe detouring to New York for a benefit show. And on the East Coast, there's a drive underway for 10,000 coats, a hefty donation with some special added value. Ross Lord reports. For Tina Ross of Elmsdale, Nova Scotia, collecting winter coats for victims of Hurricane Sandy was just a starting point. I didn't feel like giving them a coat was enough. I needed to make sure we could give them some hope. So Tina and some friends decided to include something to keep folks warm on the inside. She wanted to put notes in the coats and I said, well, that would be a great idea for our after-school program and our daycare children to do. Other daycares in the Halifax area have joined the cause knowing it took several weeks to get some victims back on their feet and that hundreds are still picking up the pieces. And school children are now churning out thousands of inspiring handwritten notes, aware of how they'd feel to be on the receiving end. Wow, these kids care about us. We love you, New York, Nova Scotia, Canada, Lance, and here is a coat. With a little superstition thrown in for good measure. Find a Smurf and you'll have good luck because on a movie it says Smurfs give you good luck. The kids have proven spreading love comes naturally. In fact, goodwill exchanges between the Maritimes and the Northeast United States are a tradition. To thank Boston for its assistance after the Halifax explosion almost a century ago, Nova Scotia sends a towering Christmas tree across the border every year. These gestures, though modest, are no less heartfelt. This one says, I am sorry for your loss with a little frowny face and a big broken heart. With the business community also on board, the coats are piling up. They'll take donations until mid-December before shipping them out, each with a small but poignant message in the pocket. Ross Lohr, Global News, Halifax.